Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Thursday, the 17th of October, 2024. An awesome streaming day where we actually made major progress. We wrapped up some stuff. It was a good day all around, and I want to talk about that, so let's go. Uh, we started off today with a fun Level 1 podcast featuring a few different things, but mostly I get caught up on things such as updates uh, to my schedule, confirming that I'm going to be on Kino Casino tomorrow night, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But also, a whole segment kind of reacting to Review Tech because he apparently had a giant meltdown eight-hour marathon stream where he frequently did embarrassing things. I only watched a few highlights of it, and I laughed my ass off. Once again, he's up to his usual antics. If you haven't seen the podcast yet, there'll be a couple highlights of that uh, separated out and uploaded to the channel overnight. You're going to have a good laugh, especially uh, Echo Chamber uh, Rich was pretty funny. Anyway, uh, after that, we jumped back into Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And today, I'm happy to report, I stayed a little extra, and we completed Goku's main storyline. It was around, if you add up all the hours I played it, about seven hours long to beat Goku's story. Uh, from what I'm to understand, that's where the anime ended, but there is more manga being written currently, and so the story will continue at some point. Um, I didn't know anything from Dragon Ball Super. So for me, all the plot lines with anything that's like uh, Beerus-related... Uh, the Goku Black storyline, the World Tournament or uh, Universe Tournament storyline. I knew none of it. So it was all first time stuff. I actually liked it, except at the very end, and I'll talk about this probably on the podcast tomorrow. In order to get the true ending of the game, you had to suck. I wish that was a joke, but basically, I had it on normal difficulty, and I was beating the final boss so quickly, the game would only give me the alternate ending and wouldn't grant me the standard ending. And the funny part was, no one online can actually confirm how you're supposed to get the standard ending. I was doing too well and getting the alternate ending over and over and not completing the game. So basically someone said, the only foolproof way to get this the true ending, the real ending that's supposed to be like, you're not as good, is you put it on easy. Because when you're on easy, you can't get the alternate endings. So I put it on easy, I went through it, and finished the game. It was really dumb I had to do that. I didn't want to because I was just doing better than the game apparently thought I would do or intended me to do. Um, but we did it. So the Goku story is done. And, of course, people are already asking me, well, what's next? Well, uh, we have two options. Option number one is I do the other storylines because they're still like Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Future Trunks, <clears throat> um, I think uh, Frieza, Goku Black, and Jiren. They're all characters that you can play stories of. I've heard all of their stories are significantly shorter than Goku's, like maybe tops one to two hours, while Goku's was seven. That way, you know, there is probably another seven hours or eight hours of gameplay in there, but it's much more streamlined and not drawn out like uh, Goku's was. So we could do that, and I'd be all right with that. Or I could try to play the game online, but as I've told you guys, I just don't really care that much about learning the game competitively. I'm not going to play it like a fighting game. So, much like when I played Smash Brothers, maybe I would casually give it a go or two and mess around with it, but I don't foresee myself going crazy with this thing or caring too much about it. Um, so, because of that, I uh, don't know if we should go into online or even care. Maybe I would do it just as a tryout and mess around with it a little bit, but I probably wouldn't get too far with it. I don't know. We got to think about it, okay? But anyway, great that we finished the, uh, the very first storyline that's the longest. And you can watch the conclusion of that right here on DSP Gaming today. It's already live, okay? Um, the, the evening stream tonight was the conclusion of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Basically, I beat the game in within about 30 to 40 minutes. And then people said, well, you got this ending. Can we literally watch all the other endings and then you comment on them? I said, sure. So we opened up YouTube. I gave credit to the YouTuber who we were watching. We played back and we watched all of the endings and I commented on all of them. And then I gave my final thoughts. So the one video of Silent Hill 2 that's the finale... It's about 90 minutes long, and it literally covers all endings and my final thoughts on the game. Then we had some extra time, so I hung out for an extra half an hour, and I did some Q&A with the audience, all right? Now, today, FYI, was a great day because guess what? Once again, we hit all the support goals. 24 straight streams that we have hit all of the support goals, my friends. So, what does that mean? It means that tomorrow, if we hit that support goal on the first stream, which is the only stream I'm doing tomorrow, I'll explain why in a second, <clears throat> the moment that we hit that support goal and we unlock the reward of me doing a DSP tries it 
on the chicken uh, Big Mac tomorrow from McDonald's, we will order. Now, I made an announcement tonight. You probably weren't there for it, but here's the deal. Tomorrow, the moment that we hit that goal, I'm going to order not just the chicken Big Mac, but I also want to try the filet of fish sandwich because I have not had one in many years, and I'm curious if it's any good still. And I'm probably going to get a few other things, like maybe a couple single cheeseburgers or something like that. Basically, I want to try a few different things from McDonald's because I haven't eaten at McDonald's in a very long time. And I kind of want to see what they have. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I want to see what they have uh, available and, uh, and try it out. So it's not just the Chicken Big Mac. It's other things, too, on a big special DSP Tries It episode. So here's how it's going to work tomorrow. In the morning, the Level 1 podcast featuring my... Final thoughts on Silent Hill 2, summarized, but also a little bit about Dragon Ball. But also, what we're going to do is go through the nominations list that you guys have been using to nominate games for my Halloween event. I mean, it's going to be the 18th. It's time to close the thread and tally them up and see what games will be in the Halloween event. So we're going to do that live and make the poll so you guys can start voting. So it's going to be a fun podcast in that regard. What I'm hoping is that we actually hit the support goal during that podcast, and that way I can order the McDonald's a little early. And then we're going to do Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster and finish it up. From what I'm going to understand, we don't have much left. We have a little bit of time to kill um, between where I am now and the end of the game. And then there's the two stages left. There's one is the helicopter fight, and then that leads to a giant fight and a big boss ending, and that's the end of the game. So likely we're going to beat Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster probably within a couple of hours, which means maybe I can even get the food to arrive a little bit on the earlier side, and we can fit in that DSP tries it during the stream. And the reason I say that is because I'm not doing a late stream tomorrow on Friday. Tomorrow night, I'm appearing on Kino Casino for the special Halloween crossover event. We will all be in costume. We'll be doing a bunch of fun stuff, including my most racist moments countdown from 2010 that cannot be viewed on YouTube, but we can actually watch it over on Kick. Um, as well as many other fun things that we're going to do together in costume, all right? I should be on their show between 6.30 to 7 p.m. Pacific time and stay around three hours. I told him I got to get out of there between like 10, 10, 30. You know, I can't stay super late. So, but I'm going to try to be on there for a while and we're going to have a great time together. I hope that you guys will join me. It's Kino Casino Gaming over on kick.com. So if you haven't even checked them out yet, I strongly recommend that you get over there and, uh, you know, get ready for the show. I don't know if it's sub only over there. Not sub only, excuse me. Uh, I don't know if it's follow only over there. Like mine is like five minute follow only. Uh, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow night. I'm not going to do a late stream. So that way I can do a special Halloween crossover event with those guys, okay? So, tomorrow will be an exciting final streaming day of the week. Saturday is my day off. I hope I can see you for the podcast. I hope you'll join me for the conclusion of Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. And I hope you'll join me for the very fun McDonald's DSP Tries It Chicken Big Mac Plus Plus Plus. It's going to be amazing, all right? Guys, thank you for an amazing streaming week. I hope you enjoyed tonight. I will see you tomorrow for the conclusion. Peace out. Have a good one.